But stuff, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have Explorer and Properties open, which can be found in the View tab. Then we'll need to create our place. So I'm gonna save my place right now. So just save to Roblox. If you have, or if you have currently have a game open, you don't need to do this. Then go over to here, Game Settings, and go to Places, and create a new place. This place is going to be the place that we teleport everyone to. Should be this one right here. Or just just something random. And you can just configure all these settings if you want, but this is just what I'm going to keep. Here, I'm just click save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to view and go to asset manager, go to places. And then we'll just keep this over here. So what we're going to do first is we need to make our GUI for when we teleport. So as we can make a screen GUI, we'll name this teleport GUI. And add a frame. Go to size, click these two arrows, and then go to offset. Set both offsets to zero and set scale to one. Then set the background color to whatever you want. I'm gonna say just simple dark color. Something like this. This should be good. Then if you want to, we can add a little text. So background transparency set that to one. Set the size from offset to scale. Then go to text scaled, text color free, then you can change that make it white and then you can choose a font right there this is a beta feature so it should just say font but I have font face so you can go ahead and choose your font I'll just use this then we can just name this uh, the game that we're gonna teleport it to let's name this as nothing then we'll drag this teleport GUI into the replicate storage now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a local script inside of star GUI then just follow along here Now, if you didn't set your screen GUI, well, your GUI to teleport GUI, set this right here to the name that you set, right here. Now, we're pretty much done here. Now, what we need to do is, we need to get the player to be teleported to our next place. So, to do that, I'm gonna just make a simple script, but you can have a teleport pad, like stepping on a part and it'll teleport teleport the player to the place. You can watch another tutorial for that, but I'm just going to do a simple teleport to show you what this looks like. And right here, we need to copy the ID, which is in the asset manager. Right click on the game, copy ID to clipboard, then control V to paste it in or command V. And there we go. That's all we need to do. Also, make sure you have your place um, published. So what you can do is you just have to double click on that and then you'll be sent into the other game. So just to test that we actually get teleported, I'll put another part right here and then go ahead and publish to Roblox. It should say publish new changes. Then we can go ahead and play test. So I'm in the actual Roblox client right now. So if we wait a little bit, it should teleport us to the game using our custom loading screen. Let's just wait. And there we go. As you can see, it doesn't take that long to load, but it is there. So, yeah, that's how you'd replace the Roblox loading GUI with a custom one when you're teleporting around places. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.